A few weeks ago, Robinhood introduced a brand new feature called Level 2 NASDAQ Market Data. In today's video, we break down what Level 2 quotes are and how they can help you win. Level 2 data can provide investors with incredibly valuable information pertaining to a stock's short-term price action. By explaining how it works, you also get to know the concept of open interest and get insight into how the price of a stock moves every microsecond. Level 2 is essentially the order book for NASDAQ stocks. This just means that there is a list out there with all the open orders and their respective prices. By seeing all the bids, you can better gauge where the price is headed in the short term. Bids are like limit buy orders that other investors have open on the market. Similarly, asks are like limit sell orders from other investors. Like any limit order, each bid and ask is represented by the price and quantity of the order. Level 2 data is unique because it shows more than just the best bid and best ask on the market. It also shows the full depth of orders on the market, including quantities at the individual bids and asks. This is why level 2 charts look the way they do. On the bottom, along the x-axis, you have the price, and above that, you have the quantity of stocks ready to be sold and bought at that particular price point. The left-hand side represents buying, and the right, selling, and right in the middle, where the two sides meet, you have the actual current price of the stock. For an example, if we look at stock XYZ and see its current price of $100, we can look at the level 2 chart to get a sense of what the market is thinking right now. We see there's a large buildup of orders to buy at 102. This so-called wall of orders can be represented as a short-term price barrier that will be difficult to punch through for sellers meaning it's unlikely in the short term that XYZ falls below that point. This information can be extremely useful, especially if you're day trading. On top of the chart, you have the quotes that represent the data in the chart. Comprised of three separate portions, these quotes on their own look very confusing, but as you will see here, they're relatively easy to break down. The first portion is known as the market maker or the person or organization who has placed the order. In our example, it's UBSW. The middle portion is the price at which the order was placed, so for us that's 102.50. And finally, the last portion is the number of shares, in our case 5,000. I know it says 50, but I'll explain later. This tells us that UBS Securities is attempting to buy 5,000 shares of stock at a price of 102.50. Note that the number of shares is in the hundreds, so you're taking that last portion and simply multiplying by 100. Now we move on to the participants. We have three types of players, market makers, electronic communication networks, and wholesalers, otherwise known as order flow firms. Market makers are the players who provide liquidity in the marketplace. This means that they are required to buy when nobody else is buying and sell when nobody else is selling. They make the market. ECN are computerized order placement systems. It's important to note that anyone can trade through ECNs this is not just big banks and investment firms. And finally, you have the wholesalers. Many online brokers that cater to retail investors will sell their order flows to wholesalers. These order flow firms then execute orders on behalf of the online brokers. Now out of these players, there will be one market maker in particular classified by traders as the AX. This is the market maker that controls the price action in a given stock. You can find out which market maker this is by watching the level 2 action for a few days. This market maker who consistently dominates the price action is the AX. Many day traders will simply follow the actions of the AX as they can result in a high probability of success. But be warned because institutions and others will use sneaky tactics in order to conceal some of the buying and selling strategies they use. For an example, it's extremely common for market makers to hide their order sizes by placing small orders and updating them whenever they get a fill. They do this in order to unload or pick up a large order without tipping off other traders and scaring them away. Market makers can also hide their actions by trading through ECNs. Remember, ECNs can be used by anyone, so it's often difficult to tell whether large ECN orders are retail or institutional. While Level 2 data provides Robinhood users with the ability to see pending orders on top of the current price, understand that Level 2 is not a glimpse into the future just as anything else. 
It's only there to help you in your strategy. Big institutional investors rely on quants and computers, and day trading alongside these people as a retail day trader is very, very, very hard. Did I emphasize the very? It will be ill-advised to enter the market thinking level 2 was your gateway to a yacht by simply trading the trends on the order sheet. But the reality is that trading via order flow is much harder than it seems on paper because of the strategies companies are using to cover their tracks. Whatever the case may be, level 2 is just another feature Robinhood has added to their goal plan in order to improve the tools available to their customers. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in other finance breakdowns. Thank you.